gotta stop and take a second. Gotta put some extra stars on his paperwork, okay? <laughs> extra gold stars, baby. <laughs> Go ahead and talk about the defense. Special uh, cornerback, safety, Fletch, Graham, the whole group. I mean, overall, looking at all the product, again, let me start by giving some respect out because, again, all right. listen, there was an area of weakness we all knew coming into this season that we had to get a control on the defensive side, and that was that safety spot. Listen, I didn't have the most confidence with Marcus Epps coming into this season Man. we have uh, we was doing something new with changing Chauncey Garden over this is first time playing safety all year listen I believe we've got now an answer at the safety position I am no longer worried I am no longer stressing so much respect got to give be given to Marcus Epps for holding down that spot all year I haven't been blasting out the safety spot you know there's been some moments we all know the third the third and 30 that's always going to hit me wrong but there was a lot of a lot of mental errors in that play but yeah. as far as the whole overall safety group the defense just the way they responded i mean listen i gotta give them an a also um again i take that into i know i was skeptical on jonathan gannon and putting these boys in situations but they're actually playing to their strengths and again just one of the biggest reasons why i'm giving this defense i mean what are they of course, the sacks. We we you know that's epic numbers pretty much. We were two off from what becoming the beating the the record of the eighty two or the uh, the Bears record. What was it? Yeah, uh, seventy two sacks. I yeah, mean, two off that? from two off from tying it. From yeah. tying we it, three to break it. Three yeah. to break it. So a lot of that has to do with, of course, the the safety groups covering the lines getting to the quarterback. I mean, we weren't sitting here complaining all year of our linebackers looking like trash. So, again, I got to give this whole defensive effort. It all came together. All the talent that we had on this team, I mean, it showed up. So, I'm giving the whole group an A also. And that's what it is. And I think, again, I think we found an answer, at least for now, at the safety position. Marcus Epps this year, big, big salute. He's held his own. Yep, Simone. I'm going to give the defense an A. It's been so many shining moments from the defense, starting with, Week two, shutting down Justin Jefferson. Um, again, going back to that Colts game where the offense was struggling. First game without Dallas Goddard and the defense keeping us in that game. So many three and outs, third and out, third and out, third and out, having to go back on the field, holding up. Even in that loss in the Saints game, defense kept us in the game until the end. Reed Blankenship getting thrown in to that Packers game, stepping up, ready to go. Chauncey Gardner Johnson, um, 10 days before the season start, came into a new team, new system, hit the ground running. Marcus Sepps and TJ Edwards returning to the team. They saw all the dogs we brought in, all the guys coming in, competing for their position and training camp and during the offseason and them holding it down and stepping up. Uh, Javon Hargrave getting unleashed, uh, freaking – Josh Sweat, when we paid him, it was a lot of question marks, a lot of people scratching, like, uh, should we pay Josh Sweat? Um, man, Hassan freaking ready. Man, Hassan ready. Jesus, gotta stop and take a second. Gotta put some extra stars on his paperwork, okay? <laughs> extra gold stars, baby. James Bradbury, say little, do so much, boy. It's just been so many high points on this defense. Brandon Cram coming off injury, double-digit career high sacks. I mean, Jesus. Linval Joseph and Donna Kasu, old back and old bones holding up for us against Jonathan Taylor, fresh off the retirement home, coming in, making some stops. I mean, who... <coughs> Ray be the name of the that defense. Go ahead, Trey. I agree with everything they said, man. The defense get an A for me, man. Um, I mean, there's always high points and low points in the season. I mean, times we're going to question, times we're going to be like, this defense rolling. But for the most part, they stayed afloat. I mean, they 
we took on some okay quarterbacks this year. I mean, we did well. We shut down some okay wide receivers this year. Justin Jefferson being one of them. So, I mean, I feel like we did great this year for the most part. We got the best record in the NFL. We top what <coughs> two in in pass defense. I mean, our run defense was a little shaky at first. We sued that up. I feel like the defense went hand in hand with the offense this year. Um, like Simone said, bro, seventy sacks is nothing to like poo poo. Seventy, bro. Well, we went from worst in the league. Two best in the league. We finished. We last was the season. worst in the league last year. Forty nine sacks last year. Worst in the league last year. Seventy sacks, bro. It's like yo, Hassan Reddick with sixteen. I think BG had like eleven. Hassan Reddick had like eleven. Josh Sweat had like twelve. Like that's four players over double digit sacks. You don't see that in the season. You don't see stuff like that in the season. Washington game second. Carson Wentz nine times. Damn there ten times. Bro, we, this, this defense was this defense was hooping this year. It was hooping on the low. Like we had our little ups and downs. Like we y'all know the show. We 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 debated about it, all that. I mean, they had their little ups and downs, but for the most part, they kept us in that number one spot. Even those two games we lost, I feel like the defense played well. Even they 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 played well with Gardner Minshew. So I mean, I don't know if it's coaching or players, but it's just like it was going hand to hand for the most part. I'm giving them an A for this season. Yep, BG. Oh, hold on, I want to hold on, hold on, hold on. Before, sorry, I, sorry, before sorry. I get off this. <clears throat> All right, so coming into this season, um, I debated with many a dudes about TJ Edwards. Mind you, I watched TJ Edwards in college. He was a dog at Nebraska, a dog. Like he was a leader. The dude was great in pass coverage. He was great in run coverage. He wasn't the most athletic, but he was a smart football player, a prototypical middle linebacker. And dude told me, oh, he's expanding. We could get rid of T.J. Edwards. This dude got the most tackles in Philadelphia Eagles history this year. In Philadelphia Eagles history this year by any linebacker, deep, defensive tackle, safety. And I rallied for this dude all, all season. Yo, he made me so proud this year. So, shout out to TJ Edwards. We got to resign this dude, bro. He going to be a staple of this defense for the next four or five years if we resign this dude. So, shout, shout out to TJ Edwards. Yep. Shout out to TJ Edwards. Go ahead, BG. Um, yeah, like, I kind of give the defense the same credit like I give, you know, Hurts. Like, they really only lost, like, had one bad game. You know, like that Washington game probably be the only one I give them. I think we all know we win the Saints and uh, the Cowboys game if we had Jalen Hurts. You know what I'm saying? So those were Minshew's mistakes. So to go a whole season breaking the records that they have, you know, what? How many of them made it to the Pro Bowl? Like seven, eight of them. You know, mm -hmm. we got some of the best. We got the best deepest line in the league. Easily the best secondary in the league. Easily went all healthy. You know, when you add Maddox to that group. You know, they're unstoppable. So I hope we can get Maddox back. And I'm giving these boys an A plus because they did their thing this year, man. Like 70, like you said, four players, 10 plus sacks. I never even heard of that before. I never. You know, I don't even know what team that did it. You and know, 10 so. plus, plus. Put some yeah. plus in that 10 plus. plus. It ain't no 11. It ain't no 12. How many Hassan got? 17? 17. Like 17 sacks. It ain't no little ten and a half sacks. It ain't mm. no little eleven sacks plus on mm. that ten plus. Are we we the first team I believe in NFL history to have Ever. four players, yeah. four, four players, players on the D line, all over ten sacks? So we got what Josh Sweat over ten. Uh, what is it, Brandon Graham over ten? And I'm 